let's check the taps or the tap right over here so we had a lot of people say good morning modern steaders this morning we got quite a few things we need to do we gotta feed the chickens we gotta water the chickens and the pigs we gotta give them both fresh hay we need to do that before we feed them so that way we can put the feed on top of the hay it's been warm rainy and just nasty out there so it's kind of wet and muddy so the animals need fresh hay to play in stand on just give them a nice bedding we need to check our maple taps sap i am hoping i haven't checked yet i'm hoping what are you doing i'm hoping the sap is running today it if it didn't run today i'm hoping it ran yesterday i haven't looked yet i've been waiting to check it with you guys Yesterday it got into the 40s and it was rainy all day. Last night it never got below freezing. I believe it's almost 50 degrees already. So maybe the sap's running? Fingers crossed. Let's check and water our plants. So we have a whole bunch of tomatoes started. We're only gonna keep, I don't know, probably around one to two dozen of the tomatoes. Then we'll give some away to friends. We can sell some. And yes, we have started them super early. But we find if we do this, we have some nice big plants that are ready to go out into the garden when it's our growing season and it gives them a big boost. We don't have the warmest weather in the longest season here. So by doing this, by growing them inside early, we can take advantage and have tomatoes for our BLTs nice and early. We have really good luck with our soil blocks. By doing this, we don't have any transplant shock or we don't lose any of the plants to transplant shock. It's easy, it's fun, and it cuts down on the use of plastic containers which is kind of nice. It's that much less stuff you have hanging around or have to use. Better bring the water bottle upstairs so we can fill it up for our afternoon soaking. When the weather gets to be like this, it's so hard with the wood stove. I need to put wood in there, but I'll do it before I leave for work. I'll put one or two logs in. But if you put too much in, it'll be too warm. If you don't put any in, it'll be too cold. So it's just one of those games we're playing right now with the wood stove. We have the shelf all put together with the crates. They're all antiqued or, I don't know, whatever you would like to call that for a finish. Looks nice. I have a board in the basement. Let's go show you. I have some rough sawn lumber boards down here that I've been saving for different projects, wanting them to dry out. We have a nice wide one right here. It's like nine and a half or 10 inches wide. That we're gonna cut down and we're gonna use this for the top of our bookshelf. Sand it up a little bit. Well, we'll be making a video on that. I don't wanna give it away, but that's been in here all winter, so it's nice and dry and we can use it to finish up that project. And then we got a few more. We got another project we plan on doing right above the desk. It's gonna be a good one. You wanna go out, Pluto? Come on. What are you doing, Figaro? Dive bombing Pluto. You're crazy. My hat on. I need to find a new hat. This is a winter hat. It's wool. It's gonna be too warm for that pretty soon. It's still nice and icy. We gotta be careful. Whoop. 
Let's get the water going. Mosey on over to the outdoor kitchen. The windows are nice and wet. Woo! And I'm going to say all the wasps in here are dead. Because it was warm yesterday. If they were just hibernating, I'm sure they would be alive today. But I'm pretty sure me and Olivia are going to cut that open tomorrow when she gets home. We're going to dissect it. We need some hay. If you're wondering where did I get that paper wasp nest from, I'll put a link to that video right here. That was kind of fun the other day. All right, let's grab some hay. Give the chickens three flakes. Boy, this ice is terrible. I gotta show you that in a second. That's kind of funny. Good morning, girls. Water's overflowing, but we can't get over here too fast. We'll land on our bum. Boy, this ice. I'm telling you, it'll be so nice once it's all melted. Little there. Little there. That way the chickens will spread it all out. They'll give themselves some nice bedding. This time of the year, no matter what you do, is hard to keep your animals area clean. Everything is just wet. Getting wet every day. It's kind of just a pot of homesteading. We have a season here called mud season. Yeah, that's what you get after winter before spring is mud season. And I'm pretty sure all homesteads get some kind of mud season. So if you're thinking to yourself, man, that's so messy. Once you start homesteading with animals, I'm telling you, you're going to have a mud season where it's not pretty. But it must happen for spring to come. Show you the plow. I thought this was interesting. I took this off the other day and set it on top of the ice. The sun must have heated it up and it's cutting like a butter knife right down into the ice. Uh, I thought that was a good one. You smell anything good, Pluto? <sighs> Tell you what funny you're walking around you'll hit a warm spot and then a cold spot and then a warm spot but all this ice is a pain to walk on it slows you down it's taking me twice as long to do the morning chores that's not good good morning girls ready for some fresh hay there you go. They love their hay. When the snow turns to slush, you know it's gonna stop melting fast. That's a good thing. I love seeing slushy snow. It's a good sign. Float out. What are you doing? 
let's check the taps or the tap right over here so we had a lot of people saying about putting a hole in the side of the bucket so rainwater don't get in our hole for our hose is so tight no water or if any very little is going to get in that is some sap but there's not much in there maybe it'll start flowing today better or maybe not because it's not that cold out i'm gonna say it's not even an inch in there so i'm not gonna open it let's check a couple of the other trees blow down Look at that beautiful sunrise. The fog. Man. The majestic dog. Andy's out. He's hiding in the snowbank. I don't know if you can see him right there. Let's try to catch him. Whether we caught him or not, he's back inside New York City. Ah. I know they can come and go as they want. It's okay. It's worked out all winter for us. Come on, Pluto. This way. Let's go check the tap on the tree over here. Pluto knows where we're going. Woo! Look, she's waiting at the tree for us. Let's check it. Ooh, that's got a little bit more water and uh, sap in it. Nice. Awesome. I'm not gonna open them right now. The lids are a pain to get off, which is a good thing. And ooh, gotta dig in here. And I don't have anything to transfer them over to and I gotta go to work. I'll check a few more before we go. Come on, Pluto. She's down at the tap over there. Come on, Pluto. You're all wet. Look at you. I've got to bring the pigs their leftovers. Better do that right now. Get it out of the house. Good thing for us. And they'll be excited too. Remind me, I gotta close the outdoor kitchen up and then we'll go check on a few more taps. Girls ready for some leftovers? What do you think you're doing, mister? Huh? Huh? Man, he just thinks he can go wherever he wants. You coming out, Pluto? Let's go in the basement. We gotta check out the taps outside. Now I keep two sets of rubber boots in our house. I have the newer set and the ones upstairs need to be thrown away, but it's nice this time of the year. I'm going in and out different doors because where the animals are located and the weather, 
I have two sets of boots. Come on. Keeps the house clean. I don't have to track mud from upstairs to downstairs. I take my boots off and carry them downstairs. And that keeps Gina happy. This way. Come on, stay over here. No wonder why you're all wet. Hey, Pluto, oh my goodness. Stay away from the road. Pluto, come on. Let's check this bucket. That's funny, that bucket is bone dry. Pluto, come on. This way. No, come on. Hopefully after work, I'll have time to check the taps. I don't know. The pot that's gonna be interesting with making maple syrup for us is going to be work, family, cooking, daily videos, and then on top of that, we get the homestead stuff, but on top of that, now we're adding tapping and boiling. So, that one's got to drop. So that's what's going to be hard for me is finding the time to boil. Because if I boil at night, I won't have time to make the videos. At night's when I edit. So I got to kind of figure that out. I think I'm going to have to collect the sap all week. I know they tell you not to. And then boil it on the weekends. That one's empty also, so that's funny. The ones over there have sap in them. And the oh, ones over here haven't collected any yet. Ooh, that one's got quite a bit. So far, that's our best producing tree. Awesome, good to know. Let's go check the other one. We got one more close by we'll check. And then I gotta head off to work. All right, let's check this one. Bone dry. Wow. That surprises me. So we have a couple of trees that are doing good. So yeah, we got a pretty sanded road, so it's not icy, and that fog looks amazing. Come on, Pluto, let's go. I gotta go to work. Pluto. She's going down to the brook. Come on. Hey. Let's go. Get up here. Let's go. I think she's getting cabin fever. She just wants to run. She's dreaming of green grass in the pasture. Come on. It's gonna be interesting to see how the whole tapping season plays out this year with having time to boil sap. I don't think it's a two minute process where I can just spend a little bit of time before work and after work and yeah, it's not gonna work. Cause making YouTube videos. We can't stop making the videos. Come on. So hopefully the sap will stay good until the weekend we have time to boil it. If you have experience with that, leave it in the comments down below. Boy, that sunrise is amazing. Oh, -ho. a 60 degree day is gonna be nice. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna soak up my vitamin D. Hopefully I'll be working outside. Yes. Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us. We appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet to the channel, now is a perfect opportunity to do that and turn on notifications while you're there. And hopefully YouTube will let you know when we go live, post a video, post something on the community tab, but they always don't. Eh, 50-50 chance. Now the best way to stay connected with Lumna Acres I'll put a link to our website right here. Sign up for our newsletter. We can keep you up to date that way. And remember, we upload daily videos at 6 a.m. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. I gotta go to work now. You gotta go to work? She's like, I'm gonna go inside, lie by that wood stove, and dry it off. 
to nap all day long. <sighs> they got it made. Do you see that fog coming in? Look at that. What a thing of beauty. All right, I think we're leaving this time, for real.